Hello students. In this lecture, we are going to study the case of reflection of waves by a perfect dielectric normal incidence. In the last lecture, we have covered the reflection of waves by the perfect conductor normal incidence case. Now in this lecture, the material used here for the boundary is the perfect dielectric material. <clears throat> now what is perfect dielectric? It is one which has zero conductivity that is for which the sigma is zero that is the surface charge density is zero so that there is no loss or absorption of energy in propagation through it. That means no energy is lost within the medium. The energy that is incident on this, uh, on this perfect dielectric some energy is reflected back whereas some energy is transmitted to the other side of the medium but no energy is lost within the medium. That is when an plane electromagnetic wave is incident normally on the surface of perfect dielectric part of the energy is transmitted and part of it is reflected there is no loss of energy in the medium of perfect dielectric now consider our plane wave traveling in the z direction and in this figure it is shown that the incident electric field wave is incident on a perfect dielectric and this is the transmitted wave represented by ET and the reflected back wave represented by ER. These all are the electric field waves and here mu1, epsilon1 are for the medium1 and mu2 no, mu and epsilon2 are for the medium2. Let epsilon1, mu1, eta1 be the permittivity permeability and intrinsic impedance for the medium one what is this intrinsic impedance that we have studied in our previous lectures that it is the ratio of e by h that is the magnitudes of e divided by the magnitude of h and it has the units of ohms similarly epsilon 2 mu 2 and eta 2 be the permittivity permeability and intrinsic impedance for the medium 2 Similarly, EI is the electric field strength of the incident wave, HI is the magnetic field strength of incident wave, ER is the electric field strength of reflected wave, HR is the magnetic field strength of reflected wave, ET is the electric field strength of transmitted wave and HT is the magnetic field strength of the transmitted wave. Now, from the definition of intrinsic impedance for medium 1, eta 1 is equals to ei bond hi it is the ratio of e by h and from here hi is equals to ei divided by eta 1 we mark this equation as equation number 1 and similarly hr is equals to minus er divided by eta 1 as using this figure from this figure it has been seen that the incident wave and reflected waves both belongs to the medium 1. That's why in both these cases we are using eta 1 and eta 1 here. Now where why it is here the negative sign because of the phase reversal or 180 degree phase difference between EI and ER. Negative sign is due to the phase reversal. Marking this as equation number 2. <clears throat> now similarly HT that is for the transmitted wave it can be written as ET divided by eta 2 because HT and ET are belong to the medium 2. Now applying the boundary conditions as we have already said that there is no energy lost in medium 1 or in medium 2 or in the medium of perfect dielectric the tangential component of E must be continuous at the boundary of the dielectric that is EI plus ER is equals to E t that is the total summation of incident wave and reflected wave must be equal to the transmitted wave and similarly the tangential component of h also be continuous so hi plus hr is equal to ht now adding equations 1 and 2 this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 adding both these equations hi plus hr Hello, is equal to so hi plus hr is equal to EI upon eta 1 minus ER upon eta 1 and also HI plus HR is equals to HT as per the second boundary condition. 
So HT is equals to here we put down the value of HI plus HR as HT. So HT is equals to EI minus ER upon eta 1 taking this eta 1 else in common. Now from the equation number 3 from this equation HT is also equals to ET upon eta 2. So HT is equals to ET by eta 2 by equating this equation number 4 with this equation we get ET is equals to EI plus ER this is from the first boundary condition. So HT is equals to EI plus ER divided by eta 2. We can rewriting this equation as here. Now comparing equation number 4 and equation number 5 here HT is equals to this and here HT is equals to this by equating both comparing both these equations we can write it as EI minus ER upon eta 1 is equals to EI plus ER upon eta 2. Now upon solving these equations upon doing these calculations we get ER upon EI is equals to eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1. This is the relation for the ratio of ER upon EI and this ratio is called as the reflection coefficient in terms of electric field strength. So the, from here we get the definition of the reflection coefficient. It is defined as the ratio of electric field strength of the reflected wave to the electric field strength of the incidence wave and this ratio is equal to eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1. Similarly, the definition for transmission coefficient, it is defined as the ratio of electric field strength to the transmitted wave and the electric field strength of incident wave that is it is the ratio of ET upon EI. Now let us do the derivation for this. Now from the first boundary condition ET is equals to EI plus ER. Now dividing both sides by EI we get this. So ET upon EI is equals to can be written as 1 plus ER upon EI and this ER upon EI we can already derived here in the equation number 6. So put this formula into there and solve it and upon solving we get ET upon EI is equals to 2 eta 2 divided by eta 2 plus eta 1. So this is the ratio for the transmission coefficient and this one is the ratio for the reflection coefficient and both these formulas are in the terms of electric field strength. So this is expression for transmission coefficient in terms of electric field strength. Now let's derive these two coefficients reflection coefficient and transmission coefficient in terms of the magnetic field strengths. Now as eta 1 is equals to minus ER upon HR this we have already written in the equation number from equation number 2 and from here ER is equals to minus eta 1 into HR. Similarly EI is equals to eta 1 into hi this can we can return in the equation number 1. Now dividing both these equations we get hr upon hi is equals to minus er upon ei. Now the formula for EI, er upon ei we know that we have already derived here in the equation number 6. Put this formula here and we get hr upon hi is equals to minus we are putting here the same formula eta 2 minus eta 1 divided by eta 1 plus eta 2 and there is negative sign so interchange these terms and we get the formula as eta 1 minus eta 2 divided by eta 1 plus eta 2. So this is the relation for the reflection coefficient in terms of the magnetic field strength. Now similarly for the transmission coefficient as HT is equals to HI plus HR and HT dividing both sides by HI. HT upon HI is equals to 1 plus HR upon HI. Now put here, here HR upon HI the same formula that is eta 1 minus eta 2 divided by eta 1 plus eta 2. And after putting this formula and upon solving we get this relation for the transmission coefficient. 
So HT upon HI is equal to 2 eta 1 divided by eta 1 plus eta 2. And this is the expression for the transmission coefficient in terms of the magnetic field strength. So in this lecture we have studied the uh, studied the four formulas. We get the four formulas. One is for the reflection coefficient in terms of electric field strength ER upon EI. Transmission coefficient in terms of electric field strength. Reflection coefficient in terms of magnetic field strength and another is the transmission coefficient in terms of magnetic field strength and all these formulas are when the wave is transmitted or reflected on the medium of perfect dielectric case. Thank you very much.